Hi everyone, welcome once again. It's Tuesday, and today, as I promised during the last episode, I'm doing a quick review about copy markers and their chips alternatives that are out there for you and for me. <laughs> and I will be doing a review of three different cold pencil brands that I personally have used, but let's start first with the copy markers, okay? I love copy markers, so I go to Michael's and buy a few of them that they sell uh, separate and they are really expensive, like $7.79. And as you see here, I'm showing you two of the uh, four markers that I buy from Michael's. This one is the uh, Listic Red Copy Sketch Marker. Let me show you a little closer so you can see the bar and things like that. I think. It doesn't look right there, but okay, I think it's going to show in the video. Anyways, I'm going to put the, the name and the links for the markers behind on the comment section, with, uh, have, you know, in that part of the video. And these ones are actually the one that I buy from AliExpress, and they are Combi markers, Combi 802. I don't think it actually came in the video, but that's how it looks and that's the cold blender that it came with the set that I purchased and they are really nice and they don't flip over like you see in there so they are really nice markers let's try it out now on the picture on the drawing so you can actually see the process and how they work so let's get started I'm switching from the other color, sorry. I'm taking out the color that I'm going to use, so give me a minute. Okay, I found it. So, um, these uh, color markers bring two tips that you can use, and they're really nice because it's double sided and you can use it for bigger projects, the big tip or the normal nib tip that I love to work with because it gives a lot of details when you need it and when you don't need it, you can work with it so I always use the nib tip I recommend using the nib tip instead of the strong ones unless you are going to work in something else the number is GY47, a book I think it's not going to show there, so I'm telling you so let's get started working on my uh, pumpkin. I love pumpkins and not for eating, but I love how to draw them and how they look. So here you are seeing that uh, since it's alcohol based, the marker, it actually expands a little bit on the paper. So if you are working a really, really detailed um, drawing, I recommend on using it or trying to use it really light, lightly, like don't press out too much because it's going to ruin your drawing and put it outside where you don't want it to be. So, yeah, but these are really nice quality, even if they are no copy markers or the actual copy marker, they are really nice to work with and they're comfortable for your hair, hands, sorry. And yeah, it's, it's really nice to work with them. I think I love them. I received it a week ago and I have worked with them for several days already. But I think they're really nice to work with, actually. And now I'm going to show you how to actually they blend together the colors. And for that, I'm going to use um, Y44 Marine Green, and I don't think this one show neither, <laughs> but I'm going to give you the uh, link for this one. So I'm going to start putting a little bit on the leaf, and let's see how they turn out. I don't guarantee that it's going to blend really nice, so don't expect too much in the time for blending. And this is already the seal. Color ble colorless blender that came in the set. I wrongly used the wrong tip, so. But this is the nip tip, and I'm going to start using it. And as you see, in here, if you touch too much the color with the blender, it's going 
to get out of the leaf and it's going to mess up a little bit. I'm going to uh, paint here with uh, the green color once again so I can actually blend it together and then you will see what I'm talking about in the blender that take out the uh, actual image here you see that the paper is, is already out the colors came out of the liner so even if it looks really nice you have that part that is accounts it with the um with these markers that is uh really bad but you can work on it and try not to push like too much to the side of the color blender so you can actually have more inside that outside even though that it gets outside i actually will fix that part uh, after we have finished it with my uh, sakura pens but if you want to actually don't get out of the lines then try to work re really inside of the picture instead of getting to the border so but it's really nice and I actually recommend this product if you are looking for a cheap option because if you are out there and you are starting as me as an amateur artist or as a beginning of your art career or just want to have some markers for yourself and you are just a hobbyist in art I recommend these pencils because I mean <laughs> sorry I recommend these markers because they are I buy mine that are at 12 sets and I buy them for 11 something and now they are for 13 something and you can choose the 12 colors and even they have sets that are already preset so you can choose from that or can choose yourself and they have another options for you in uh, markers too so i recommend um i'm going to leave the link behind so check it out and see what you like in there and tell me about it in another video okay and yeah you see it's, it's really nice and it doesn't flip over the page the only things that i see here is that these uh color markers are are they are a little smelly for me they are a uh, really hard uh, smell they have a really strong smell on them so if you can handle hard smells don't buy it try to use a more ecologist uh, or more less sensitive uh, other for you so but since I was actually trying this out I want to try them even if they are a little smell um, that I don't like <laughs> but if you you know if you can spend too much on our material this is a great option again and if you feel like the smell is too strong what I do is like I pause sometimes when I'm not doing the blending actions and then I come back once again and finish my my work that I have for um to do but everything in this world has a solution so I don't think the smell is like a big trouble for you but I actually really recommend these uh, products and I actually love how they work um because it gives a lot of texture in the paper if you're using normal paper it's really really nice to see and it's really really nice to work with them the only problems that it has is like I say the smell and that the blender doesn't blend like I wish they actually do with it but it's something that you can handle and work with it uh, and later on when you have more money uh, you have um, holiday coming that is going to give you gifts and things like that then you can ask for copy markers that's what I'm trying to do for my next birthday <laughs> but it's in one year so anyways 
we see here how how the uh, actual drawing is going to look and as you see the green one is excellent and even if the green one says something about blue because it's a blue it doesn't look nothing but green or blue so I always uh, check the chart the color chart that they have and look for the actual color how they're going to look before you buy them because if it says blue and sometimes it's purple you don't want to receive like a whole package of blue that are greens purple or something similar to that because I purchased I buy a blue color <laughs> thinking it was blue and was purple so I'm just telling you my story here so you don't do the same mistake once again so here I'm going to use the blender once more time to give a little more texture to the leaf and I'm going to start working already with the uh, orange color that is a GR23 flesh here is the number but I don't think it's looking in the video sorry about that and this flesh color is really nice and you will see it it's, it's really orange color and it's lovely it's a lovely color right and I actually love it because it looks so nice on the picture so yeah you see it's really nice it works really nice and I'm going to add some lights and shadows later to the pumpkin and some texture so you can see it at home mm -hmm. and it's going to look really nice because I will show you how I add texture to the actual pumpkin and with what color I will add the lights and that texture that I'm talking about I think you will be really surprised because I was really surprised when I found out that so yeah I know it's not Halloween and the pumpkin are for that time of the year but I really was you know looking around and I actually came to like a pumpkin that I see and I want to try it out and it's actually my first time rolling a pumpkin <laughs> well in traditional art I mean I have a lot of pumpkins that was for Halloween 2015 uh, but it was a digital drawing that you can find on the main arts and Instagram, I think I posted on Instagram. No, I don't think it's, I posted it on Instagram, but it was on Devin Art. So if you go to my profile in Devin Art, you will find it there in the digital art folder. So, yeah, but it was completely different from this kind of like really light and more veggie way to draw a pumpkin because that one was more for the Halloween theme. So, yeah completely different I really like that these uh, markers uh, really um, are not that dry fast and they are actually more wet during your process so you need to be careful while doing the drawing and don't uh, having the marker paint your hands or wrists so be careful with that because if you are if you have the marker in your wrist or hand and you are drawing in the paper and you are pressing your hand in the paper it's going to show in the paper and you don't want to kill some other elements of your drawing so be careful with that and I normally uh, draw against the lines as you see there because I actually like to add a little more details in there and now I'm going to use the color blender and you see the sorry in there that's the light and that's it's going to look for the lights I always put lights even if the place is going to have shadows I think that gives a more texture and the color blender that of this is a little oily so be careful while it's throwing because it touches your hands but um, here once again uh, we are adding some light over the pumpkin 
and it's going to look really nice. It gives a little bit of texture because the pumpkin is not completely like a balloon or something like that. It has texture in there and it's not completely round so that will give a little more touchy uh, feel of being more three dimensional that I think is that what you call it. I'm not very sure but I think it's that word. Um, and now I'm going to add some strong shadows with um, a light brown that I buy that is not actually brown and it's actually BR95 from Sienna and I'm going to only add the shadow to the lines and to the bottom and then blend it out with uh, the blender so it will give more texture and it's going to show like a more detailed pumpkin you see it there it's already showing up the size of the pumpkin and I really like it. I'm going to put it over the lines as I say so it shows more the lines of the pumpkin and behind actually in the bottom I'm going to put it too and then blend it out and this uh, just technique it will help you a lot uh, uh, putting a more textured drawing. I love to put texture to my drawings because I think they are better with texture because the world is full of this texture and you don't want to miss that because that's what it looks more realistic and makes your drawing even better. So yeah I love it. <laughs> so yeah. So here I am. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. I was just trying to uh, talk in the mic and I was already lost. Okay. You see, for every more uh, line that I add with the Born Sienna and blend it out, it's more and more detailed. And I love it. I love, love, love this drawing. So, yeah, let's add some more shadows in the pattern so it looks more realistic. And I think I'm done there. I think I just need to add some color blends here. Yeah. I think it's going to look really nice. At least I love how this turns out. You see, Using the color blender in there and I'm using a white color instead is uh, making it really nice and then you don't need to buy a Sharpie marker or a, mar a white marker that uh, to put the lights on and they are really strong because I actually didn't want them to be too strong lights but yeah it's really nice and I actually love it. I think it became really nice. <laughs> okay, let me put the uh, some more texture to the part of the leaf and things like that so it looks more realistic too. You, the leaves normally have some um, sides so I'm putting it with the blender and that makes it a little more uh, lighter and texturize it at least for the eye so it's going to look really really nice you see it comes really nice and it looks like the same lights on the pumpkin so it's kind of really nice So I think I'm finished. I'm going to start with the top part. I think let me search for the colors. It's a BR98 chestnut brown. You see that in the video there, right? Sorry for that. I think the top doesn't show up in the video. 
And I will, you see, I will add the sienna too later on on the top. And you will see how it becomes. So, be, as I say, be careful because these um, markers are not like copy markers that they stick to one place. And you need to be careful with kinds of that. But I think I actually love them and I think they're really, really nice. So, I recommend using them. So let's finish that part. I'm going to use now the Sienna once again to put in, instead of that. Oh, I used the cold blender. Sorry about this. Um, I want to mix it a little bit and I'm going to use the warm Sienna to add a little light and blend it too. So it looks a little more realistic too. And yeah, these are all the five colors that I use. No, sorry, six colors that I use for this drawing. And I buy 12 that I said before, but I couldn't use them on this drawing because it was too green and orange and things like that. But I really love the other colors and I love how the picture actually came out. You see that it looks really nice and have a really nice texture and the colors are really high quality for the price. So let me show you the whole package. I want I buy 12 colors, so but I'm going to start with the one that I love the most, and it's B68 turquoise blues. Oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. I'm using the Sakura to fix the parts that it blends strongly. It's a uh, Micron Sakura, so it's uh, 005. I love to use that one because it's really uh, fine point and you can work in really small details and yeah you see i just fit the the leaf that it was uh, the color that blends out okay so let me put a little bit over here so it shows the parts Under over there. I always uh, put the ink in first and then I draw. I love to do that, but sometimes when I finish the drawing, I put a little more ink in. So, uh, yeah, in here I'm putting a little more color in there so I can actually have more strong color in those parts. But it's really nice. So, yeah, it's really nice. I'm going to sign it out already. And then we'll show you some stuff. Okay. Thanks for watching, by the way. And if you like, comment below. And give it a thumbs up, please. And share it, okay? And before I finish this uh, episode for this week, I want to let you uh, know that all the links are going to be uh, behind the video and now I'm going to show you actual the pencils and uh, the markers that I buy and the first one is the color blender and that one is that 120 black that I buy because I like to have always a black in case I have to use it and that one is the one the chestnut brown that I have used that is the uh, BR98 I actually buy the, uh, that's the Born Sienna that I use for the pumpkin too. And it's uh, the PR95. I'm going to leave all of this information behind. So don't be scared, I'm going to leave it there. And that's the Flesh ER23. That is a really nice, you see it already. It works really nice. Uh, that one is the Wing one, uh, Egg Blue G. Y47, really nice color. Uh, this one is the Y44 Marine Green, really nice color too. Uh, let me see, this one is the mask that I love most, and it's B68 Turquoise Blue. I have been talking about this one for a few minutes, but it's really nice and I love it. I didn't use it for this uh, picture, but it was really nice. Um, this one is um, 
PV1773, sorry, ultramarine, and it's really nice. I love how this color goes in the paper. And let me see, this one is a lavender uh, P83. This one is a PV72 Napoleon Blue. Really nice color, but it's not blue, it's purple. And this one, lastly, is a GR132. And it's a skin tone, white skin tone, but it's nothing compared to the normal copy skin. Um, that I have already purchased, but it's really, really nice and gives a little more thumbs up for the uh, skin tones and things like that. So there's my whole set that I buy. They are really nice, as I say, and I recommend using them because, first of all, they are cheap. And second of all, they uh, have really nice quality for the price. And yeah, they are really quite nice uh, markers that you can purchase for yourself. So that's all for this week, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed my video. Next week, I will be doing another review about uh, color pencils. So be there. I hope you'll be there, actually. So yeah, see you next week, uh, guys. And remember to thumbs up, share, and comments below, please. Okay, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for watching my video. Bye-bye.